Hi, my name is Global Warming. I am so dangerous. I am the fourth warmest year on record, although I should be first, but I'm fourth. I get a participation trophy. But look how the jet streams are out of flow across Europe. Rave goers in France, hypothermia, coldest May day ever in Copenhagen, unusual snows across Europe. And look at this before and after in Italy. And join me this weekend for Alternative View 10. The live stream link is below in the description box, as well as the links to tonight's images and stories. World Meteorological Organization says physical and financial impacts of global warming are accelerating. Let's flip the lexicon. Physical and financial impacts of the grand solar minimum are accelerating. If it was global warming, it shouldn't be the fourth warmest year on record. These same experts were promising us warmer and warmer and warmer temperatures every year. How is that reversing the trend? And in the article, they also talk about hurricanes are increasing intensity because of global warming. Uh, not really. I'll leave the chart here. You can pause that and take a look at the intensity. So it's pretty much like this. The IPCC and global warming is a shark without teeth. Try to be scary. The size is scary. But the actual bite is, well, puppy-ish. And I'm wondering how in global warming it's minus 42 degrees Celsius below zero right now in Romania. I understand it's in the mountains, but those types of temperatures are January temperatures. And the before and after in Italy, look how much snow has come down. That's feet of snow in May. Gore told us snow would be a thing of the past. Our children would never know what snow was. And here we are, two feet of never seeing the same thing again. Jumping over to Russia, unbelievable amounts of snow. Take a look at the snow totals in Russia. Right now, May 8th. Severe weather EU with WX charts showing us the anomalies here. Look at the flip-flops in the jet stream. This is absolutely a magnetosphere weakening grand solar minimum slash magnetic pole reversal effect that you're seeing here, right in front of you. It's colder down in Croatia and Italy than it is up in northern Russia and parts of Sweden. And then as we continue through the week, it's even going to get colder down in southern Europe, while the north up near the Arctic is going to get even warmer. This inversion is incredible. And the jet streams are not supposed to be the vertically north-south. There usually should be a bend in them some way. This is getting into unprecedented territory here. And it's all expected with declines in solar activity bringing us back in multi-century or multi-millennial cycles. Nothing to do with CO2. It's the sun. And speaking of that, you're going to have to grow some of your own food. It's planting time. It's springtime. Well, maybe it's snowing in spring, but still it's planting time. What can you grow this season? Fruits, vegetables, melons, trueleafmarket.com, heirloom and organic seeds for any grow zone on the planet. The link's in the description box below, as well as the link to Alternative View 10, the live stream link. On to Copenhagen. You never would have thought Denmark, that was a poster child for global warming, would have the coldest May day ever recorded. Now the official records go back into the 1600s, but because it's not official, it doesn't count. So we'll have to go back to the 1940s official start of the temperature keeping data in that part of Europe. Unexpected snow and hypothermia in a rave in France. Who would have ever thought of that in May, just weeks before summer that you would get this type of cold. Scotland, unusual cold again this morning. Take a look at the temps in Australia too set to sink well below the average for this time of the year. Some places up to 20 degrees Celsius below the normal. Over into the United States, below normal temperatures and snow. Through the weekend, 25 degrees Fahrenheit under the normal. And where we see that much lighter color in the Rocky Mountains, Denver expecting 19 inches of snow. And a look at the snow forecast through May 10th. Some places almost two feet. New snow records being set as well in Montana, several areas. And it's going to continue to do this year upon year. Our growing seasons are going to continue to shrink. And especially when you see stats like this from Caribou, Maine. Snowfall, longest ever streak of at least one inch on the ground. They broke the old record. And also third highest. Well, if global warming can be the fourth highest and still get front page news, I guess the third highest even beats that, huh?
And I'm going to leave you with some lightning over Paris. I inverted that so I could fill out the screen, but beauty in nature. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you're interested in more information on the Grand Solar Minimum, jump over to Mini Ice Age Conversations podcast, 30 minutes on the go, explaining in depth how these changes are going to roll out with timelines and how you can protect your families. Libsyn and iTunes. And I'll see you next video.